super effective. I am SSF. Bye. Pull my finger, please. Please? No? Screw you. I was polite. Ah. Live from magnificent state of Virginia, here's your host, the news dude of Sonic Paradox, Sonic Sega fan, in 1991. And hello everyone on Sonic Paradox, I'm finally live with a lack of a wireless mouse because it's a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Sonic News Show, the very first Sonic News Show of June, and the very first Sonic News Show post E3, cause fuck E3. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, been a great, like, it, it was a good time, I guess. We we did have some fun moments during the coverage, and Jay got to hear me swearing at the buffer. Uh, <laughs> isn't that right, Jay? It was much a lull. It was. But, uh, yes, in case you haven't noticed, we do have the Sonic Show cast here because, well, we were just live about 20 minutes ago, and, oh, goodness me, what a stream we had. <laughs> Long story short, I sucked. That That's all that needs to be known. <laughs> no, uh, we actually did some co-op of Sonic 4 Episode 2. Jay, needless to say, kicked my ass. Uh... <laughs> But we did have fun, and that's what matters. I mean, that, 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 that is what matters, but... Yes, I am considering this first Sonic News show at a brand new permanent time of 6 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. UK. Yes, from here on out, it is now starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. UK. No more 8 p.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. UK. Holy. That's too late now for my own standards and liking. So... We're now con I'm now considering this starting now. This is technically the season three premiere of the Sonic News Show. Season one was actually like I don't know what a um, it was about the first few shows I did of the show. Uh, the first few shows I did of the show with the show and the show. I'm gonna stop. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like that was the first few shows. They got it got a reboot. Uh, season 2 was pretty much everything that led up to uh, the last previous show, which ended uh, with uh, the last previous show, which had Dreadnought's guest starring. That was something. Uh, and now we have the season 3 premiere, so I'm in season 3. Totally not as long as Radio Redux or uh, the Sonic show, but season 3, hey. Um, <laughs> with that in mind, I guess I should also mention that... Uh, uh, the Sonic Night, the Sun, the Sonic, the Sunday Night Sonic lineup has returned to full steam. Like it's at full strength now. We had Radio Redux, we had the Sonic Show live just a bit ago, and now we have my show. But ladies and gentlemen, we're back in, we're back in action again. You know it's, you you know E3 has finished when we're back in action. But yeah, I mean. I I I enjoyed the E3 coverage, but words cannot express how grateful I am to see our lineup uh, back in full strength. And also, uh, before continuing, on, I do believe I should mention this because this was just worked out in, um, in, in between the show and the Sonic, uh, show stream. I you guys should be able to see now my tweets on uh, Sonic Rex on the uh, community feed on Sonic Rex's homepage. So if you need kind of another venue for not just me, but for all of the Sonic news, you know, going on in the community, or if you just want to see, you know, everything that's been going on in Sonic Rex's neck of the woods, go to SonicRex.com, and it won't take you much to find the uh, Twitter feed, it really stands out, it's on the left hand side, so, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to mention that because, you know, because, uh, <laughs> it, it just happens, so. But yeah, shall we get going with the show, huh? Yes. <laughs> Yay for a very active response. Boy, We're kind of cool like that. Yeah. yeah. We're too cool for school. 
Yeah. I thought we was going to be introduced, so that's why we was all hushy hush. Oh, I we I can uh, introduce you guys if I can bring up Skype. Oh, look, it's Skype. Oh, hey, there we go. But yes, we have we do have three people here from the Sonic Show. Uh, as I said, we just finished the stream like about 30 minutes ago, 20, 30 minutes ago. So uh, they're still around, but I don't think it's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be much longer. It depends on how much they can stay awake. But we do have a uh, uh, Luna here, as I see on Skype. Hello, Luna. We do have Jonathan here. Uh, that's me. Hello, everybody. And of course, it would not be a Sonic Show stream if we did not have Mr. Sonic Show himself, Disco Ponies. Hey. He's still getting over the vast amount of rage that had been induced from the stream from earlier. And as revenge, I'm going to troll this stream. Yeah. No way. <laughs> uh, you know, I, just, I could say bum, but I won't. You just did. <laughs> oh goodness! Here we go again with that. Uh, so let me explain why everything's taking like a bit for me to move around. Uh, my wireless mouse is on, but it's not moving. <laughs> for the likes of me, I don't get why it's doing this. I think something like screwed up. Um, I look, I tried everything. Uh, I can't quite for the likes of me figure out what the problem is. Uh, but apparently it's got something to do with the wireless mouse. Uh, I hope I don't have to get another one. Um, I'm I'm constantly like picking it, like picking at it and everything, but it's not, you know. I I can't move it. It's like, yeah, I can't I can't do crap with it. So I I use my uh, laptop mouse for now. Maybe I just need new batteries. Who knows? But if I did, the light wouldn't be on. Let me see, real quick. Yeah, this is... This mouse does not like me. Alright. Yeah... I, I don't think it's new drivers. Um, let me see real quick. You're gonna hear a really, like, crazy thing here. Let me try something here real quick. All right, can you guys hear me? Well, I can hear you. I can certainly hear you. Uh, I took out the plug that connects to everything, um, and then plugged it back in, but it doesn't seem like it's done anything. So I think it's not because of the drivers. Everything is like everything's connected in like a, I have I'm using like a multi-driver thing, splitter. So, let me see what happens if I take this out. Is there another one? i put this on. Let me see if doing that right there works. Yeah, it's got something to do with... Oh, wait. Installing driver software. I apologize, guys. I couldn't figure this out. Um, I wanted to get this done before the show ended, but... Yeah. I'm seeing if installing a new driver will do anything. I apologize, but while I'm doing this, I uh, may as well talk about like what we missed. Uh, there's been quite a lot we missed, uh, namely E3. Yeah, you know, we didn't really, like I said, the Sonic News Show took a break for E3, which isn't happening again. I can tell you that right now. The Sonic News Show will be back in a. Uh, even during the E3 coverage, the Sonic News Show will be back on. Uh, Weekends, so. Um, nevertheless, um, looking at the. I installed a new driver. Like, I had it so I installed a new driver, but it's still not doing anything. So, I don't think it's that the. It's, I don't think it's the drivers. Because. The, it, just, it was just now an entirely new driver I installed, so. Ugh. So, let me see. I'm gonna try one more time. I know this goes to the wireless mouse, doesn't it? Unless it doesn't even like. I don't even know what this is. I can't even remember. Uh, let me 
try this. It's been stolen lots of driver's software, but yeah, E3. That seems to me like E3 uh, was right. rubbish. Yeah, for the most part, E3 did not go too well. Um, Microsoft well, was Steve. sucky. Microsoft, As always. Yeah, Microsoft was sucky. Sony was bleh. Ubisoft. Honestly, I don't. I, I think people are giving it a little bit more praise than it really deserves. I do think they did really edge out a lot of the competition. I think they just, just missed being, uh, trumping Nintendo. Just missed it. But, um, they did beat Sony, they did beat EA. EA sucked as well. Microsoft sucked, when EA did, sucked. Well, let's put it this way. When did EA ever do anything good? There's no offense to them, but mostly all they show is sports games. To a degree, not many people actually care about sports. Yeah... And to answer, answer Morpheus's question, uh, I do think Nintendo won, but barely. Barely. You mean um, how it started off really well with Pikmin 3 and ended off as the diabolically with Nintendo Land? Half of uh, it was good, half of it was bad. In comparison to Sony, where it seemed like nothing really interested me, and. Like, Nintendo actually did interest me, so. I'd have to more disagree more there. Um, I did actually. Um, find not that much but I did find quite a few things I liked in the Sony E3 conference beyond in particular took my interest quite a lot the new thing that the guys at Quantic Dream are going ahead and making um, the other thing which sort of took my fancy as blatant to rip off as it may be was um, PlayStation Battle, Battle All Stars Royale I don't know if I got the title right I don't care yes yeah, you did PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale I but, but yeah I don't think but um well, compared to Microsoft, who didn't really show any kind of game, they start they start with Halo Four, which everybody knew about already, and then they finished with Call of Duty, which if you're Everyone not a shoot, if you're not a shooting fan, then nobody, you're not really going to care. Um, whereas Sony, Sony did show quite a lot of pretty promising new stuff. I thought. Yeah, they, they Sony's was all right. I, I, I just, one thing that really just strikes me off is odd. I'm seeing if the uh, batteries need to be changed here, by the way. One thing that did strike me off as odd about the the Sony conference is that... Is it me? Or is, like... Okay, this still isn't working right, even with the batteries switched a bit. Okay. Uh, one thing I really did not like about Sony... This, about a lot of the conferences was that... Was that Every almost every one of them had to have Ubisoft in there in some way. It's like, why didn't Ubisoft have to be in three conferences, counting their own? It's like we we get it. We know what games you have. You have to show it off in every single conference. It's like it's overkill. I suppose I could kind of say the same about our Microsoft's conference, except it wasn't Ubisoft that they were constantly trying to abuse it was connect every single game well most every single game they showed had to be connect powered or connect improved or connect driven in some way almost in this kind of desperate attempt to try and demonstrate that connect is still relevant in today's field of motion of motion control. gaming motion control gaming yeah well let's put it this way sony never mentioned the playstation move once meaning they know for a fact that they've lost on that front so there's no point in going on about it they knew that they said okay we've lost not gonna go there we're gonna move on onto what we're good at Microsoft are being desperate saying you must buy the Kinect we need the money everything you're gonna play will be Kinect based you want new servers we will give you new servers but we will give them to you if you buy Kinect which will be powered by Internet Explorer which is, which is apparently Kinect I didn't see the point when Microsoft actually announced that we're going to have a Xbox Internet, which is powered by the most safest thing in the world, Internet Explorer. Which, to be perfectly honest, is the load, the biggest load of rubbish I've ever heard, because no one uses Internet Explorer anymore. Or Bing, for that matter. They, Bing? They, seem, they seem to be really pushing uh, Bing <laughs> as, as the big search engine for, for a new browser as well. 
I was going to say, what the hell is Bing? I mean, if it was Mozilla Bing. Firefox or Google Chrome, I would have been like, oh, that's good. I like that. I'm safe with that. Maybe Safari, but yeah. But yeah. internet, really? Yeah, it, this can't be. I, sorry, I'm just still trying to figure out why my mouse is acting like this. It's like it's working. Like I can tell it's working. Like the blue lights on on the bottom, telling me that it's on. But it's just it's not doing anything. I don't understand. Hmm, that's quite confusing. And it it just did that like right at the end of the song show stream too. Like I said, maybe I... there's a. Wait, what? I was gonna say maybe there's a fault on the mouse now. Yeah, maybe I mean, the. Continue. I mean, like it was working fine, like up until the very uh, very last moment. It's like all of a sudden, boom! It just like it stopped working, and I have no idea why it stopped working. It, it's like, like I said, it, the blue light's still on. It's just I can't do anything. It's like maybe the the infrared's blown on it or something. If it, if the power is on, then it's going to show it's on. But yeah, it's not going to show exactly if it's connected or not, which is maybe the issue. That it's powered on, but it's not connecting to your net. Well, tower or something properly. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at any plugs. I don't think this. If there's any plugs that are on this, I have switched the thing around, plug, and it's not working. So something is blown in this mouse. That's me. Sounds like you need a new mouse. Yeah, because I'm I'm looking. I plug this into multiple drivers, and it's like, hey, it's installing. So I know they're working. Like it's recognizing what it is that's in each in driver. So maybe actually, it might not just need a clean. If it's powered up and working, but it won't read, is it just a sensor one? Uh, it has, like, I believe it does have a little, like, a reader that you plug into the computer, so it works that way, but it shouldn't... I mean, it's in on the I meant on the bottom of the mouse. Is there a ball socket which rotates when you move it, or is it... It's a light. Got a little... It's a light. Uh, oh, I maybe see. you just need to clean that. Well, I, I don't know. I mean... It just got cleaned before. I'm looking. I I don't see uh like off and on. Oh, whoa! All right, that was weird. Yeah, it's like. Let people know I don't have a clue what's going on here because I can't see what's happening. Uh, sorry, I, I, I don't, I'm not actually showing off the mouse problems. I'm probably going to have to get me a new mouse. Like I said, I don't think it's the drivers, because as I said, I plug in something into each driver and it said installing. So it's, it's, it's recognizing everything. But the problem is, is I think it's something to do with the mouse itself. It's something to do with this mouse itself. And it's a brand new mouse, too. Is it under warranty? If you still got warranty on it, I'd recommend you take it back and find out. I tell them what's happened and see what's wrong, or get it replaced with a new one. Yeah. See, when I when I turn it upside down and move it a bit, it's like it. It's the blue light is like messing around. I don't know if that means anything, but beats me. If it's having troubles doing that, then there's something up with this mouse. I I've never really been great with ma mice, but uh, computer mice. But anyway, I guess I'll figure that out after this show, I guess. But yeah, he three, you know, stuff happened. Not exactly the best E three, definitely, especially in comparison to the last few E threes. But I mean, what are you gonna do? It, it it happens. There's these off years. It seems that the last couple of years have been off years. I can't remember being particularly blown away by anything last year or the year before that. I think the last time I was... Um, well, I can't remember the last time I was genuinely blown away. I think it was around the time that MAG was announced for 
PlayStation, but I think that's the last time I was truly, genuinely interested in what was being announced at an E3 conference. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> E3 really didn't fare too too well, and well, let's just well, let's just say that compared to other E3s, it was the most lacking in yeah, content. And, and I'll say this much, it, it's really saying a lot when even Sega didn't exactly hit the nail on the head when it came to E3 coverage, E3 stuff. I don't swear, I've never really seen any Sega coverage over at E3, if I'm perfectly honest. No, I mean, I mean, I mean like Sega E3 stuff they released. Announcements, trailers, videos. Can you well, imagine should... what it would be like if Sega got an e its own E3 conference? Well, there'll be a lot of Sonic, I'm guessing. But I think, I mean, if you saw Konami's lineup, that should have, apparently, that should have got a conference because of how much content they had. Konami did get a conference. What, it... like, I mean, as in like a big one, like what Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo get? Oh, well, Sony's stupid, that, I mean, uh, Konami's stupid, that's why. Eh. Oh well. But yeah, out of all the stuff that was announced at E3, the one, one of the few things that caught my interest was Zombie U, I must say. Yeah. I'm not much of a horror game person, but the idea of running around in, well, London during a zombie apocalypse and one hit equals death, that interests me. <laughs> Because it makes a nice change from either I'm running around, oh crap, I've just been bit by a zombie. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I can go down the street, I'm going down the street, been bit by another zombie, oh, I'm okay. I'm like, eh? Um, did Sega but, oh. come in second? I, I didn't count Sega cause since they didn't do a conference, but personally, Sega... They pretty much showed off all their E3 stuff before E3, so the only real announcement we got at E3 was... We'll talk about the it in a moment. I was going to say, what did, an e what did Sega have at E3 exactly? They, they had transformed and... They did had show... Alien, I believe, didn't they? Yeah, they? yeah, they showed off their upcoming games, any upcoming games that already confirmed. But they did confirm some All Stars Racing Transform news that was at E3. It was really the only thing we really got from Sega at E3 itself, and not before E3, which I thought was a severe letdown. They could have showed off all these trailers on E3 during E3 itself, but nope. But uh, anyway, speaking of a trailer, we did find out that they they did release a new trailer. Speaking of which, before about a few days before E3. I really don't get why they really could have hold off, held off on this for a few more days. But they did also confirm that there will be a Wii U and a Vita version of, a, of the game. Oh great, that means more stuff to buy. Yeah, the, the game will indeed be on Wii U and it will indeed be on Vita. So, I can't uh, say I'm yeah, I can't say I'm surprised at either fact because we, I kind of expected it to be, because of course it's a big multi-platform release if uh, Vita and we weren't included in that roster somewhere along the way I would be quite surprised <clears throat> yeah it's it's it, it, I wouldn't be surprised at all but I mean it, it it's something we kind of expected like the Wii U version and the especially we heard ru a lot of rumors about so it wasn't exactly a surprise that I got conf that it got confirmed. The Vita version was a little bit of a surprise, but not a whole lot. Basically, there's no doubt that Sega is pretty much putting this game on every console that's out there. Can you Has blame it... them? Not really. Has it had a um, an iOS announcement yet, or is that unconfirmed as of yet? I don't know. I. I wouldn't be surprised if they did confirm an iOS version, but... That, that might well come later, I feel. Yeah. Probably after they've announced a few more playable characters. 
actually stop talking about the playable characters for All Stars Transformed. A while ago, I had a really random idea. Well, that could possibly work, but it's only dependent on what pe- people think. And that is Miku. Hatsuhi, Hatsuhi Miku as a playable character. But there is a reason I say that, though. It's because if you look at all the um, Vocaloid video games and that released, they have all been released from Sega. Huh. And since Miku is a massive, has a massive cult in Japan, and Japan does have a tendency to have Japanese exclusive characters in their in lineups, then a likelihood of it is quite possible. Whether or not it happens is a big, well, it's a different story altogether. Yeah. Do you have any other thoughts on um, what kind of characters we are likely to see or char- dream characters that you would love to see? Bayonetta. Speaking, uh, speaking of playable characters, they they had confirmed in the middle of E3, Carnal that we will, we will be getting probably the best Sega character ever to appear in a Sega game. Um, that's a little bull, by the way. The best character ever to appear in a Sega game. I believe she was that one person who Sonic cast uh, decided to cast off right before he turned he became you know blue and started saving the world and. She said, I'm going to seek my revenge, and she decided to build a giant car that's blue, and had Sega endorse it, and then she don't join some... Go- okay, you know what I mean. Danica Patrick was confirmed as the v- announcer, v- voice actor, actress, a playable character in the game, and will also be having holding a race, being a part in a race in a Sega Sonic, like a Sonic slash Sega car. All this for All-Stars Racing Transformed. All I have to say to this is, what the fuck? Who is this person exactly? Because over in the UK, we don't have such a thing as NASCAR. We have Formula One and what? Street, ra- well, Rally. That's about it. Danica, and Banger Racing, which is fun. Danica Patrick is the f- was the first female uh, racer to race in the Indianapolis 500 here. And also racing in NASCAR. She's the first female NASCAR driver and I believe the first female indie driver. The thing is though, she's only won one single race. And she's only been in NASCAR for two years, I believe. She's not even close to being famous? Close to being, she, yeah, she should not be really famous. She should not be like recognized as, oh, she's this great NASCAR driver and racer. No, she's not. She's more well known for sticking her ass in the, at the camera and GoDaddy ads and actually talking about... That's what I don't... That's what initially like made this awkward. Because I've seen her GoDaddy ads all the time. They're cringeworthy and disgusting. And... I sense gamer rage here. It... It's... Stupid, having, you know, the fact that she's more well known for sticking her ass at the camera and GoDaddy ads than actually what she's Sega saying she is known for, which is freaking NASCAR, which is not even close to what she's good at. Of course, people will have a problem with it. Another reason: How do we know this? Why is she the announcer? Why? The last announcer was not that bad. I mean, the voice at least. How are we expecting her to be a better announcer? Gender equality? I have no idea. But since I, we can safely say this, that is peeing you off quite a bit, maybe we should switch... Well, not switch entirely, but drift off the topic of her and maybe as... Cobra suggested just beforehand. Can I interject? Yes. Go on in. Imagine how mad he would be if they had announced that Jamie was started playing. buffering. 
Oh god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, it's Ugh, for love of in, I... her in her defense, however, I would like to say that we haven't actually heard any of the commentary which she has done, so until then I'm going to reserve judgment. Likewise, Do we have any cause... examples of her voice? This is I get detection, this is gonna be slightly interesting. I, I you know, I'm just gonna say this much. If it had been so much as that race where she was driving in that car and you know, it was that one race and that that would have been enough for me, you know. Then I wouldn't have had a problem with her in, involvement in this. But a playable character and as the voice of the announcer Seems a bit much. Yeah, I, I I get it, Sega. You're trying to. It just sounds desperate to me. And we know why Sega would be desperate. So. But, but yeah. <sighs> Tanika Patrick, why? I, I, and it doesn't help the fact I don't like the woman either. You know, I think we can all slightly cap at that from how you what you've been saying for the past few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like it's but pretty. It's pretty stupid to advertise, you know, have someone endorse a game and half of the world doesn't even know who the hell she is. But I mean. But you can say the same for what Smash Brothers did in the Nintendo. It's like, okay, we've got, for the original Smash Brothers on the N64, we have Ness! <laughs> America and UK. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> it's like, oh, he's from a Japanese only game. Well, that helps. Bear in mind, I don't play Japanese games, so I don't know who the fuck he is! <laughs> but drifting on from that, Donnie, tell me, from what Cobra said earlier on, what would be your dream characters or character you'd actually like to see be in the game? Uh, I, I, I would like to see, like, uh, Rystar and Knight and... Even Sega's Sanjiro too, but if there's a chance. Oh my God, Sega yeah. Sanjiro. But that's just yeah. the thing about him. They didn't. Ha I from what I was listening of Kevin's show, they said they couldn't have him in the game last time because it's an actual person and they couldn't afford the licensing fees. Yeah. So this time round, they've not spent the money having him. They spent the money having this woman no one knows. Go figure. It's like, uh, what? It's a waste of money, and it's a waste of a potential character spot that could have been gone, that could have gone to someone else, depending on, if, depending on if she's actually DLC, or just actually literally within the game, but I'm really, mm. really, really hoping that I can change announcers, because <laughs> I don't want to hear her voice when I'm racing, <laughs> but nevertheless, moving on. <sighs> gonna take a breath and move on to the Wreck-It Ralph trailer coming out. Oh, the Wreck-It Ralph! Now that is a that's an actual Disney film. I'm actually interested in watching. Yay! Since... And it's got Eggman in it. And Bowser and M Bison and Pac-Man and um, Zangief and many many others. One thing, do you think that uh, Mike Pollock actually has some lines to say in the film? Uh, I believe it has been confirmed that not only is he not in the film, he wasn't even approached to do any lines for the film. So, he has virtually no involvement in it. Mike Pollock. Wow. So, he's just there just to look pretty and just be like... Yeah. I'm fat, pretty much. I'm a wow, fat ass like... and <laughs> I am proud. That's very disappointing, especially since Bowser makes noises. Well, it's Mario character, what do you expect? True. Anytime Mario's in there, they get all the... Like, they, they automatically get all the special treatment, even though technically Sonic is right up there. Maybe a step below, but definitely up there, but that's, that's an argument for another day. Hmm. But, yes, we're already halfway through, if you can believe it. But, 
What the hell was that? I think I think that was a my game. my my web browser just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I, uh, you should get a doctor to see that. You, you mean uh, you mean that wasn't Eggman telling us in Morse code that he does not like us and wants to destroy us for making fun of him about being a fat ass on the That's stream? Okay. But Jay's here with us. He is the Eggman after all. I am the Eggman. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Shameless cameos. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Yeah, here's an interesting note for those who are fond of probably the best Sonic anime of all time. Premiering on Disney XD tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. UK is, like I said, the best Sonic anime of all time. Sonic, Sonic Underground? Underground! Yay! Fuck. I was hoping you was... I hope that I was going to hope that was a joke answer. Thinking, no, it's going to be Sonic X or The Avengers of Sonic the Hedgehog. Or oh, maybe Bear, yeah, Sonic Sat AM. Not Underground. But there, there, there goes my hopes and dreams. Yeah, yeah Sonic Thank Underground you. will be on Disney XD starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. UK. So... It fits in with the hip and cool demographic they're targeting. Um, hip and cool. What part of Underground was hip or cool? Exactly. Part... It was like... It's like, let's have a cheesy story and have a ka karaoke session in the middle. It's the part where, where where you can make earthquakes by just using a musical instrument. Pretty much. Actually, making that reference, that was the only decent song that that, that entire series even had, the Mobius Stomp. And people were listening, yes, I did watch it, I do know half the songs. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure for some people will like to be glad to see that there's another Sonic series that's not Sonic X that's on TV. I will say this much: that's one thing Mario does not have that Sonic does have. None of the Mario series, video anime series, have been airing for the last like ten years. I'd imagine. I'd imagine. Well, the when the original Super Mario Super shows on Netflix. No, I mean like literally on then, TV. Hmm. But then again, if you think about it, Mario was kind of... Actually, tell a lie, I thought Mario still had its thing on plate. And what was that kid's show on Pop? Pop TV? Or did Pop TV get removed? I'm not sure, but to answer Chaos, uh, to mention Chaos Blue, actually, Mario did have some animes. They're just really old. They they were around They were around as early as, early as Sonic was. Like, they, they were around when Sonic's animes were on. You mean like, do the Mario? That kind of stuff. Yeah. Ooh, the live action m parts. My god. Yeah. Let's not go down that path. Let's, let's not... avoid it. Yeah, let's not. But, uh. <laughs> yes, reruns of Sonic Underground premiere on Disney XD. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. UK. Go ahead and watch it if you want to. I'm sure you won't. But, hey, at least I told you. And, you know. And knowing it's had to battle GI Joe. <coughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yes. Guess what, guys? We are actually at a story that no one on... Like, literally no Sonic or Sega site has reported on. Oh? Not Sonic Stadium. Not Sonic Rex. Not even Sonic Retro. Not even TSSC News. No Sonic and Sega site, site has... Uh, found out about this or even reported on it. Going in. Well, let me explain. I was actually watching a stream not too long ago. Uh, you guys remember the Sonic Unleashed charity run that happened recently? That was mentioned. No. That was mentioned on TSSC. It is run by the guys who do the Sonic Marathon every year. I think you can see where I'm going with this. Um, well, during the Sonic Unleashed um, stream, at one point, it was announced that this Christmas time, Sonic Marathon 3 and Knuckles will be taking place. Mm. 
So, once again, we have yet, an there's going to be another Sonic Marathon from Respawn Point. It has been confirmed from them themselves, as I said, they mentioned it live on their Sonic Unleashed stream. And I also know that they should be, they're going to be updating the site to accommodate for what they, as I said, they're calling it Sonic Marathon 3 and Knuckles. Sonic Marathon 3 and Knuckles. Uh, I could be a little bit wrong with that, but I do believe it's called Sonic Marathon 3 and Knuckles. But, uh, yes, Son the third Sonic Marathon that, they, that they've done, which will include uh, a load of Sonic gaming. They're going to be streaming games for a good week, but starting Christmas, during the holiday season, probably around the same time as these past two years, they will be doing a third Sonic Marathon. Respawn Point is back for another Sonic Marathon this Christmas time, this holiday season. So, as I said, they plan on updating the site to accommodate for Sonic Marathon 3, I do believe, next month. So, we'll, the site will be all gussied up for Sonic Marathon 3, supposedly by next month. Okay? So, nevertheless, no one else has known about this. Also, there's apparently going to be a All-Stars Racing 1 tournament in the future. I don't know when that is, but that was also mentioned during the stream. And, among other things, but yes, there were a few other things. But yes, the main thing I did want to mention is that they, that Respawn Point did confirm during their stream that there will, will be a Sonic Marathon 3 and Knuckles. There will be a third Sonic Marathon this year, where they just stream a con bunch of Sonic Mar uh, games nonstop for an entire week for charity. So, if you guys uh, wanted to uh, have something to watch as the new year approaches, there you go. Sonic Marathon 3 takes place probably, like I said, probably the same week as the past couple weeks, the last week, very last week of. Uh, the year into 2013, but we'll see. Uh, they did Generations last year, actually. But I imagine among some of the games the games they'll be playing, they probably will be playing uh, Transformed a little bit. Uh, they, I imagine they'll be playing Generations again. And also, I do believe they should be playing Sonic 4 Episode 2 as well, along with Episode Metal, I'd imagine. They're literally playing every Sonic game. Every one of them. They just do some That's Sonic That's come out games. in the last year or so. Yeah. And they did that the year before that too. There, there's some stuff that they, the some Sonic games they focus on more than others. Like they have a set list of Sonic games that they want to get done before the marathon finishes. So before the marathon is done, like if they finish the list or if they have enough time, they'll actually go do some other Sonic games. But the main list of Sonic games, generally that's what they focus on. So if they like games like Colors, Generations. Heroes, the original Genesis it, games. So it it they do tend to do things for fun too, but generally for the most part, they will be uh streaming another Sonic Marathon, week long Sonic Marathon this uh holiday season. That's gonna that's gonna be fun to watch. And hopefully I'll see you guys there because I imagine I might be participating in any um uh, online co op activities if need be. We shall see. Hmm. But Quick question: Are they are they doing it like perfect runs, getting everything and unlock everything, or is it basically get from start to finish, complete the main story? Well, sometimes they do tend to like give little objectives, like if you donate this amount, they'll do this. Donate that amount, they'll do that. But for the most part, they generally the main thing they try to do is blow through each Sonic game one by one as quickly as they can, you know. But also to the point where, you know, people still get to see that the games are, but yeah, they they, they don't go for perfect runs pretty much except potentially the Genesis games, potentially depending on if uh they're able to get the emeralds, but they'll glad they'll gladly lose interest in getting the emeralds and stop doing that and you know, if it turns out that they don't feel like they're going to get them, so but they they only go for perfect runs if they see it's possible. But yeah, we did. Uh, Jonathan did have to depart, so I do believe it's just me, uh, Luna, and Disco Ponies now. So, yay! <laughs> so it's just three of us. 
but yeah, it's still, I just, I'm kind of surprised that no one reported about Sonic Marathon 3 coming up, considering everyone does advertise it quite a bit, you know, they're really the only ones that do something on that scale, so, but uh, there is one more little announcement that I have in store, but that won't be until the very, very end of the stream, like the very, very end, and we're almost done with it, actually, we're on topic 8 now, um, Ooh. And we're believe it or not, we're only forty five minutes in, and we're already at topic eight. See, this is what happens when you speed through shows. Part of it is so we can get it uh, finished. Part of it is so I can, you know, rest. Excuse me. And part of it is so I can figure out this damn mouse. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, so I'm kind of in a rush, but I'm, but you know, at least I'm streaming this, and it's going well, minus the mouse problems. But you know. I'll see if changing the batteries works. If not, I'm gonna have to get me a new mouse. You know, I turned the mouse off. Let me see. Oh, whoa! Hey, we have. I don't believe it. My mouse is working. All I did, I just, I. Oh. What did you do? I think it's got some. Okay, I might be battery. Might just be the battery. Because now, now it's working now. But now, when I sit it, sit it up, instead of it staying on like a solid blue light, it's like it's flickering. So it's telling me the batteries might be going out on this. Well, damn. Uh... But now, yeah, now my mouse works. Hey, it's a miracle. <laughs> God actually wants me to have some kind of a good day now. <laughs> this is exactly how my the old mice used to do this. Huh. Back in the day. Yeah. Well, yes, finally my mouse is working again. All I did was really give it a rest. That's all I did. I turned it off for a little while. In a little bit. And then turned it back on. Good, now I don't have to worry about my mouse. Now things just got a shitload easier to maneuver. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, apparently Azuka's gonna be at Summer of Sonic this year. Oh, Takashi, he's coming back for a second time this year, yeah. Yeah, and I, I should clarify, we didn't actually, I didn't actually get to talk about this, you know, because, well, I was doing E3 coverage, so most of this show is going to be, like, catching up on what happened within the past few weeks, but other than that, yeah, this was, like, that wasn't exactly a surprise, per se, but, uh, yeah, topic it's at, this is actually Topic 8, by the way, guys. Not Topic 9, Topic 8. But yeah, Izuku is returning to Summer of Sonic. Uh, apparently, he'll also, as we move to Topic 9, he'll, he'll also be in a Q&A panel with uh, Steve Lysett and Crush40 at Sonic mm. Boom. There will be a Sonic Boom Q&A with Takashi and Takashi Izuka, Steve Lysett, and uh, Izuku. <laughs> you know what I mean. Takashi, Takashi Izuka, Steve Light and Lysit, and Crush 40. That will be the panel. That will be interesting. Sonic Boom. And also, Crush 40 apparently wants us to vote for the set list that will be played at uh, Summer Sonic this year. I like that democratic approach. I really do. I mean, I hope you guys have been voting for songs that, you know, are not as certain to be in the convention in comparison to before, you know, where it's almost a definite that Live and Learn's gonna be in there, no matter how many votes it gets. So, might want to keep that in mind. Well, I could run down the whole lineup of songs that they've got available for you to, for people to vote for if they're interested. Uh, you can go ahead. It gives me a chance to take a sip of drink. Okie dokie. Well, if you look on the Summer of Sonic website, this is going for the UK one, the play, the poll for which songs Crush 40 would like to play, the options are as follows. You have Open Your Heart from Sonic Adventure 1, Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, What I'm Made Of, again from Sonic Heroes, I Am All of Me, Never Turn Back, 
an all hail shadow from Shadow the Hedgehog. His world from 06. In his world. Exactly. Um, Night of the Wind from Sonic and the Black Knight, as well as Fight the Night, Live Life, and With Me. Then you've got the Sonic Boom from Sonic CD. Sonic Boom, Sonic, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. <laughs> we also have Ungravitify from Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. No. Revving Up. No. Into the Wind. <laughs> Sounds like fly. Watch Me Fly. <laughs> Firewoman. Is It You? Sonic Youth. Free. From Sonic Free Riders. Um, I do that one. I'm falling free in the wind. In <laughs> the wind. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. There's also Seven Rings in Hand. From Sonic and the Secret Rings. Songs of Hope. One of those days. And Rise Again. And I can tell you, if I look at the poll at the moment... Currently, what's winning is Live and Learn with 12% of the votes, Open Your Heart with 10%, and Sonic Youth with 10%. Everything else is a mix and match between what? 1% to 6%. Mix and match, mix and match, you gotta have a mix and match. Nah, 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 nah. So, those who are have confirmed that they're going to Summer of Sonic in the UK. And interesting to go in and listen to Crush Forty play, but you want to decide that they play your favourite song, go vote on it. Because well, if you don't vote, it may not happen. It could be that one decisive vote or that could be mean the difference between your favourite song being played to something that you dislike the most being played. Or you could just have JP two up like he did to me earlier. Just saying. <laughs> But Jay beats me up every other every other day of the week. <laughs> oh goodness, that's I'm never gonna get it. I, I'm never gonna live that stream down. Tan, Tanner <laughs> has Sonic Two. Me, it's Sonic Four, Episode Two now. <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys will have a general idea of what I'm talking about very soon, depending on exactly what gets put up on the YouTube channel. <laughs> For the song show, plugging. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're at the last topic, pretty much. Uh, Sonic Adventure Two. Is this what I think is it gonna be? Not exactly. Uh, unfortunately, Sonic Adventure Two was not revealed at E3. And... However, there is still Eurogamer. And there's still Tokyo Game Show. And Zegard usually does announce a lot more stuff at the Tokyo Game Show than they usually do at E3. When is the Tokyo Game Show? I believe that... Oh, let me check for you. Because supposedly this game was going to get a release, so like, June 20th was the rumored release of the Xbox version of Sonic Adventure 2. Tokyo Game Show 2012. It's been held in September. Oh, I think by then we'll know if the game's going to be out or not on Xbox 360. I would so love to go to this. Yeah. I I really hope that... I do hope they do bring out Sonic Adventure 2 on Xbox Live in the future. You know, hmm. and as long as they don't... As long as they don't screw it up. You know. Which I imagine they've learned their lesson after Sonic Adventure 1... Sonic Adventure 1, so... Funny thing is, on my, uh... It, it's funny, Jay, while we were actually uh, playing the co-op, I noticed one of the people that were online was actually playing Sonic Adventure, coincidentally, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, Sonic Adventure 2. I think it will come out. I just don't know when. Probably, and, if, knowing Zega, they'll probably do it near a Christmas time or something, because remember what happened when they tried to rush something out? Like yeah. with 06. But 
but this is the thing I'm gonna ask. If they, if and when they release Sonic Adventure Two on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, etc., etc., are they gonna do the same as they did with Sonic One and be separate, where you first download Sonic Adventure Two, and then Adventure Two Battle e- extras will be extra downloads? I I know Sonic Adventure One. What they did was you could get. Sonic Adventure 1 originally or and you could also get this rather cheapish DLC uh, that was the DLC pack which essentially essentially just gave you the ability to do the missions and you know a few yeah that things. was the um, that was pretty much what I was referring to being yeah. you buy the original game and DLC would be the bonus extras that made it up to be Sonic Adventure DX yeah I'm, I'm hoping with Sonic Adventure 2, they do something like that with Battle, but make it a lot better. You mean like online co-op or online versus mode that actually works? That that would actually help. You know, that would be a great addition if Sega... If, if there's one thing I think they would that would be great to have is actually having online multiplayer. Online versus chow matches. <laughs> yeah. Online, you know, just add that online compatibility that you know... I think would really work right because you know they they know how to do do the online stuff now. It's just they got to do it, you know. It's like mm. they really shouldn't be afraid of doing online stuff half the time. I mean, look at the look at how much fun Song Four Episode Two was. You know when me and Jay played it. I mean, we I sucked, <laughs> but we still had fun doing it, and it's it had that extra bit of replay value to it. So it. it well, here's a question. Sorry, continue. No, I was just say it really does add a lot of replay value to the to the game, the online stuff. So. Mm. Well, I was going to say this. With whilst we're on the topic of episode two, do you think sales have been good enough for episode two for Zega to consider what they originally announced, saying if episode two got a good views, well, got enough sales. Episode three may be put into works. It's too soon to say. True. Yeah. But I'm just saying from opinions at this moment in time. Would you want to see an episode three? I think. One with. With Knuckles, uh, I I think I would like to see an episode three, but that would be the last episode I'd want. Like no more, mm. epi- no more Sonic Four after episode three. Like that's mm. it. Just. End end the game's like storyline on episode three, and then move on, because mm. you know I I think by now they've kind of stretched the Sonic whole Sonic Four thing out more than they really should have, and mm. I'm hoping that if we do get an episode three that it is the last, but mm. after episode three but, no more. Yeah, I can understand that, because from how I'm interpreting it. The idea of episode three and episode four, if that ever went that far, would be episode one was a remake of Sonic 1, episode two was a remake of Sonic 2, episode three is a remake of three, and episode four is a remake of Sonic and Knuckles, where basically you can play as Knuckles, Tails, and all that. Thing, the thing is, though, is that Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 are technically the same game. Which is true, but I'm go- I like to se- keep them separate, in a sense, because I know they fo- 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 bleh, followed on from one another, literally, like, simultaneously. But at the same time, it was like they the games were sold at separate times, therefore I like to keep them separate. Technically... Like, it, 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 they do. They are separate technically. Like they were released separately, but there's so much evidence that suggests that the game was supposed to be an entire game. The two parts were actually supposed to be one. So, I, I, uh, I, 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 I think that, uh, I. I I, I I do think the uh, I, I I do think that uh, uh, Sonic Three Knuckles is a great game on its own, but the the, the on separately they do have their own little perks too. I really like the original Knuckles theme, 
you know, that had Michael Jackson in it going, hey! But, uh... Like, ow! No, he didn't go ow in it, he went, hey! Like, you know, at, at certain Oh, I'm points. thinking of the, um, minor boss. It was like, yeah, yeah that, that's a different one. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Ow! Come on! Do, 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 do. Yeah, that... No, I'm, I'm referring to the, uh actual knuckles scene like it's that little tune that little jingle you hear whenever knuckles would show up in the in sonic 3 stand alone but yeah i mean back to sonic adventure 2 before we go any further off topic sonic adventure 2 i think will be released on fox 360 exactly when is not a certainty but if it does come out, I should be all set to go with Microsoft points. I have 1,600 Microsoft points, so when Sonic Adventure 2 does come out, I can buy it. I, there's no doubt in my mind that Sonic Adventure 2 is going to be less, you know, than 1,600 points or less. You know, Minecraft was 1,600 points, which reminds me, Jay, you and I really should play Minecraft 360 one of these days. We will do one day. <laughs> One of these days. I mean, it's really fun playing on 360, which reminds me, probably after I finish everything, now that I see my mouse is working, I think I just need batteries in this. At least now it's working again. Uh, now that I know of... You know, now that Sonic 4 Episode 2 is finished, I can, you know, start playing that even more, and, you know, now that the co-op's finished, and... Uh, could play that a lot since I, I I'm so happy that I don't have to worry about uh <laughs> I didn't have to just remove that save file. <laughs> I it's too bad we couldn't get all the emeralds though. <laughs> but uh, that was a shame. Not that uh, not that we're upset by it. <laughs> <coughs> just looking how we uh, barely got the first one, I get the feeling if we had continued onward. It would have been. I would have uh, gone sour in a hurry. <coughs> Damn. But yes, I guess I should go ahead and mention what the final bit we have for the show tonight is. In this very quick show, actually. Of course, as you guys know, Summer Sonic is supposed to take place on July seventh, and the exact times, the times where the doors are going to open and close are not yet known, but. Judging from what was suggested, based on that the doors won't open sooner than this time and close later than this time, these times will ch pro more than likely change. But for now, I can now officially say that I will be covering a, uh, I will be covering Summer of Sonic through uh, the Sonic, Summer, uh, Sonic, Sonic Paradox stream. I really wish I could be at Summer of Sonic, but alas, I can't. But I will still be covering what happens at Summer of Sonic. I still don't know exactly how I'm going to cover it. But there will be a live stream, nevertheless, that will be taking place from 4 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern. That's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. UK time, July 7th. That is the Summer of Sonic, Sonic Paradox's Summer of Sonic stream, coverage stream. And of course, note that the main reason why I don't know how I'm going to cover it is because... A certain someone here is also going to be covering Summer of Sonic, but his view is going to be a lot better than mine. It's bad, but I will actually be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, whether I'm there this time or not is a big question mark. Since Cobra, can, if he was still here, can actually valid proof this for the second wave. I was there literally from second one. <laughs> I booked my tickets. Within 40 seconds, all of them were sold out, and I miss. I was unfortunate to be out of them 40 seconds. Yeah. So pretty much, if I don't get the final wave, then sadly no, no SOS this year, which will be disappointing. But then there's there may always be another time for another one. I so would, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a summer sign next year. I mean. Why wouldn't there? I mean, at this point, I mean, we're they're bro. The Summer Sonic hasn't even taken place yet, and already they're breaking records. I mean, it's 
you know, you know this is going to be one hell of a year if they're already breaking, like, records with tickets being taken up and everything. But, yes, in regards to what Chaos Blue said, yes, uh, Summer Sonic will also have an audio stream as well. Jay's handling the video stream. I, I can easily mention that now since, well, Dreadnoughts himself uh, actually confirmed uh, the news that Jay is indeed going to be uh, doing the video stream. That's going to be the main, like, main feed. And then Radio Sega will be hosting an audio feed. So, it will be Radio Sega's doing the auto feed, audio feed, and Jay's going to be doing the, uh, the video feed with audio, you know. The only, the difference between this year and last year is that Jay Touch knows I, coming back. that and Jay knows I exist. So, <laughs> it, I think I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say that it, it's hard to believe that this time last year, last year when Summer Sun took place, that I never would have guessed that a year later, Jay and I would be as good friends as we are. <laughs> I mean, that's all ended after today's stream, but yeah. I. <laughs> I think I know me. something. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh. Forgive me. Now, 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 you two both calm down. Remember, we still have an audience. I would let you have your little moment aside. At, least, at, at least we still beat the game in time. <laughs> Very close. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was insane that way, mm. that final boss, but. Yes, cool dude. Uh, I did get a new mic and a new headset. Technically, this headset is also a new mic. So, if I sound a lot clearer, that's probably because I am. But uh, yeah, don't know how I'm gonna do the Summer of Sonic coverage. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind I'm gonna be looking at the Summer of Sonic stream. There's there's no question in my mind I will be in the Summer of Sonic like stream video feed watching the events. I just don't know if I'm going to show it during in the SP stream. <laughs> because there's one thing I hate and that's taking other people's viewers. And I really don't want to do that. So, I'll probably I'll work something out. I mean, it's still a good month, so. Mm. But I do well, actually I mean, have I'll... I I do have one Summer Sonic announcement coming up, but I can't exactly reveal it yet. Um, there's something I'm going to be doing on Twitter uh, within an hour after, probably a half hour after Summer of Sonic ends. But I don't know. I, like, I'm waiting for what is being done, like interfering first to be finished, and then I can announce it. But you guys will probably like what I have, what I'm thinking of. Um, it's not, it's not actually streaming, but it'll be something I'm going to be doing on Twitter. I'll, uh, right. if, if we're still in, like, if this call's still going, all three of us are still in here, I'll mention it to you guys privately, but, since I know, at least Jay's well aware of what I'm, uh, at least in relation to what I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, with that in mind, that's it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I was going to quickly say, I think I know why Summer Sonic 2012 has been breaking records so far. And that was literally, if you think back, Crush 40 was announced long before the tickets even were beginning to be released. So already people that were complaining last year that wanting Crush 40 to come back have seen this and right, right, Crush 40 are back. There is no way I'm missing this, so therefore everyone is hands on. Yeah, I, I, I really do hope that people enjoy Summer Sun, not just because of Crush 40. I mean, it's alright to enjoy Crush 40, but I'm hoping that not they're, that's not the only reason. Like, there are other things besides watching Crush 40 at Summer Sonic. There are loads of things to do. I mean... Mm. And... You already know... Annoy people. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, one of these days I do intend on going to Summer of Sonic, and I'd imagine if Jay and I did run into each other at Summer of Sonic, I probably Jay would probably kill you. Yes, but uh, that's after he gives me a big man hug. I'm sure he'll give me he'll give me a man hug and then beat me up. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's... I'm, uh, yeah, I, I really hope for the best, you know, for Summer Sonic this year, and I don't know, I'm, I guess all that's left really to say is that, uh, well, guys, that's it with the show. Uh, next Sunday will be hopefully another edition of the Sonic News Show. It's hard to believe, guys, but the Sunday Night Sonic lineup is back. It's 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 back like literally it, it's been mostly radio redux for like the last few weeks but in this case it's been radio redux uh the song show live my f most favorite stream ever um, and then, and then the song news show so we're all back the lineup is back and running now i can't say that much about well, next week like I already know Radio Redux is going to probably be happening next week. I think it's the Rex Factor. With the Rex Factor. The Sonic Show Live? Mm, I don't know. Um, That's up to Jay. Hey, my mic was on mute. It will be back, yes. Oh, okay. So it will be. Okay, so the Sonic Show Live will be back next week. Okay. So, uh. Like, what did, what did you say? I, you did say you had a new, new game uh, to stream. Oh yes, but I won't tell the audience. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, but you are going to be streaming next week. Yes. Okay. That's all I need to know. Now I know, and no one has to battle GI Joe. I'm going to keep saying that, but uh, <laughs> no. Is that your new caption now? No. Now you. Now I know. No battle G with GI Joe. GI Joe. <laughs> Jay, is it raining where you are? Uh, if I was near a window, I would tell you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just responding to uh, what someone's messaging me on Facebook. But uh, yeah, I since I now know that um. Uh, Pretty much everyone should be back next week. Then the song, the Sunday night song, will be uh, back. Uh, starting with Radio Redux with uh, Kevin Eva, AUK, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UK. Hour later, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UK will be the Sonic Show Live with mm -hmm. with our very own, you know, with my good friend, I think, uh, JK Disco Ponies, mm -hmm. and then. At about three hours later, 6 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. UK, will be the Sonic News Show. Once again, the Sunday Night Sonic lineup. No other lineup is like this. Boy, what a day it's been. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm pretty uh, pumped. We're, you guys don't know how giddy I was when I when I got messaged. Uh, if, because, like, Jay messaged me not too long before the uh, stream began, asking me if I'm up for the co-op, and I thought, oh my god, yes! <laughs> I, I, Jay didn't see it, but I was literally jumping up and down in excitement, because, like, because, <laughs> like, oh. finally I know now what, what was going, what was going to happen. <laughs> it's like, yes, the Sunday Night Sonic lineup is back. <laughs> you can tell I love the lineup. It's, it, it's, an, it's fun. It's like I always look forward to Sundays because of all our shows. But never mind me fangasming over that, like I tend to do often. We have a show to end, so with that in mind, I guess I'll see you guys next Sunday. I'll try to get this up on YouTube tomorrow, honestly. I'm in no mood on uploading. I've had a long day. <laughs> Plus, after all the troubles I went with my mouse, I kind of want to hold off. I might upload it like a few hours from now. Don't know. But, uh... I will see you guys approximately next Sunday. If I don't see you guys uh, before then, I will probably see you guys either in the Radio Sega IRC for Radio Redux, or I'll see you in the Sonic Show live stream, or I will see you here. Uh, but yes, uh, my, uh, my YouTube channel is SonicSegaFan921. 
And I'll give you guys another reminder. If you guys need another venue for uh, like looking for my tweets, along with many, uh, many, many other tweets by various people in the Sonic community, I should now be displayed in the um, community chat, like the community, fe the Twitter community feed for Sonic Rex. So, any my the feed of my tweets should go through there. So if you guys you know, like, you can keep up with the tweets there too. But also note that I'm not the only one that's gonna be tweeting. That's tweeting in that feed. Like it'll be other people too, you know, like this, like Emerald Coast and Jay and um um damn uh, Sonic Rex staff and Sonic um, Sonic Stadium, Sonic Retro, various Sega sites. And uh, did did that tell folks? Okay, someone was asking me to say that, but uh, yeah. With that in mind. Take care, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow night. Or, not tomorrow night, but Sunday. Jeez, here we go. I'm already, like, a week ahead. Um, a week ahead. No. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not with it. You know what? Take care, everyone. I'll see you next Sunday for more, for the next Sunday night Sonic lineup. And if I don't see you before then, of course. But for now, this is SSI signing out. You guys, anything left to say before we sign off of the interwebs for good? At least for this week. Not really. There's going to be a few questions I'm going to ask you both after this this chat's over, but that's it. But other uh, than that, I'm done. I've got nothing to say. Jay. He's gone. Um. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's. <laughs> and then I'm so tired. Yeah, I can see. I can tell. We. They're. It's really late for them. It's like early in the morning for them, middle of the night. Yes, I do remember who you are, cool dude. I remember you. But, uh, yes, I'll tell you guys, see you guys next Sunday. For now, SSS signing out. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. I think this is the shortest show we've had in ages, but take care, everyone. <laughs> have, a, have a nice, uh, week. Take care. <laughs>